Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here and currently we're at Spencer in the Boardwalk because for several months I've been telling you about the brand new face that is going on the front of the Venture Pier and today we're finally getting containers put in place. So I figured let's give you a tour. We got the seagull with us. We can put that in the sky. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications and you give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com. It's because of them I can make videos like this on a random Wednesday. Anyway, let's Let's get started. I do know there's people out there that maybe don't know this project, so let me quickly go over with you what's going on. During the pandemic, Moyes Piers announced that they wanted to put a brand new front on the front side of Adventure Pier. It's a facelift in a way. And in order to do that, they would have to get rid of a few different things. One at the very end was the Coors Brothers building. Next was the games in the middle, which I think might be coming back because they're actually just sitting on the beach right over here. And then right on this side used to be boat tag, which was a game where you could either be inside of a boat and a tank looking thing, shoot at people while other people shot at you. That got moved to Pennsylvania, freeing up a ton of space in the front. An adventure pier is known for one thing, and that is, besides the gray white, is the art box. Well, Maury's Piers figured, you know what? If we're gonna do a facelift of this pier, let's continue that theme, that theme of containers. And one of the bigger trends in the United States, especially on the West Coast, is taking containers and reusing them. So in the case of this new project, which technically doesn't have a name, we're just calling it the facelift of Venture Pier, they're getting more containers, they're putting them on the front, they're gonna put restaurants, they're gonna put different kinds of, oh, there's a liquor license, so we don't know what kind of bars, but we do know they're gonna be able to serve alcohol, and they're gonna put more containers going that way for Coors Brothers and a few other businesses. And right now, we're currently at that stage in April where they're actually lifting these things on the pier, they're cutting holes in things, and finally getting things situated. Remember, Memorial Day weekend is really like a month and a week away, so, they gotta get moving on this. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick little tour looking over the fence, and then we'll get the seagull in the sky. As we're looking on the beach at Spencer Avenue, you'll notice that this is one of the games right here. It looks like it will be lifted back in place once they're done. It's kinda just sitting there. On this side, you can see some containers. It looks like they're cutting them here on the beach before they're getting lifted into place. So you can see these two here that are already cut. Another one down there that looks like it maybe hasn't been cut just yet. But if you zoom in all the way down by the Great White, you can see all the pieces they cut out. So they're clearly cutting them before placing them up. The crane that they're using to lift these in place is actually all the way down on Surfside Pier at the moment. You can't really see it from here. But they're cutting them, lifting them in place. And here are the first couple ones and ready to go in the sense of it's in place. Now they have to install everything inside. We don't know what's going to be in these ones. This actually looks like a service window, maybe like a to-go window. Right, some kind of window. And as we move down, you can see all the new floor they put down, all the new wood. It's another container here. I'm assuming they'll put some booth here in front. It's gonna continue walking down. Not really too much to look at just yet, guys. Not really too much to look at at the moment. A lot of crews working, so full steam ahead. And we'll make our way a little bit more south. Here's another wide lens for you. Looking around, you can hear them moving something down the other end, or some sand that looks like it's actually being moved. That's what that sound is. This is where Coors Brothers is going to be. Because a lot of people ask me, is it coming back? Yeah, yeah, it's coming back. And we got lucky today because the gate is open and you can see some of the fittings. These are windows and doors that'll go inside of these containers. And there's a container right here. And then this side is where Coors Brothers is going to go. Coors Brothers will be here. Someone's asking me, is, are they going to include that original photo with Frank Yavalon? I have no idea. Good question. And here's the other side of the container. There's a venture pier. This is the sand they were moving. You probably hear it on my microphone. Again, the monster truck's ready. So we do have this seagull with us. It's a little bit windy, but let's get in the sky.
So there you guys go. Are you excited for it? Because to be honest with you, I am. It's gonna be really nice to get a bunch of different kinds of food, beer, and live music on this pier. Remember, this is the pier that rocks and it's gonna continue to rock once this is completed. Now there is no date in mind. I think at least I haven't announced it publicly when this is going to open, but I'm assuming it's by Memorial Day weekend. Anyway, I wanna thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you on the beach. See you later. Bye.